Today, I'm going to be going over and demonstrating the Rhydon MPRD2. This is the latest offering from Rhydon Optics. This is the Micro Pistol Red Dot and has some pretty cool features. Any shooting in this video was filmed in an open and safe shooting area. When I go shooting, I always have basic first aid stuff that I carry. Shooting, medical kit, eye protection, and ear protection. Let's get on with the video. The Rhydon MPRD2. This is the Rhydon Micro Pistol Red Dot, second generation. What's really cool about this red dot is it has some really cool advanced features and right on sent me this red dot about a month and a half ago I want to say maybe a month to a month and a half ago right on sent me the red dot like a while ago but the thing is I wanted to actually test the red dot I didn't want to just get it in the mail boom slap out a review and then that's it. I want to actually carry it. I want to put it on my gun. So when they sent this, I actually didn't even have a gun that had this kind of optic plate on it or this kind of optic cut. So I went out to the gun store and purchased this uh, P365 XL. Now this particular red dot has a shield footprint. There's actually a whole line of guns that'll have that same shield cutout, including the P365 uh, SIGs out there. So let's talk about some features. So it has that shake awake technology. So for example, if this gun is in your nightstand, if it's in your safe, something like that, eventually the red dot's gonna go ahead and turn itself off. As soon as you bump the firearm, you bump the gun, that red dot is there, it's waiting for you. After three minutes of inactivity, the red dot will turn itself off. And again, as soon as you move it, it's gonna turn back on. Really, really conserves batteries though, which is a really big bonus. One other really cool feature is auto brightness. So depending on your conditions, if you're outside and it's like super bright outside, this dot becomes very bright and it's a burning bright red dot. Red dot will adjust itself depending on your environment. So if it's dark inside your house, your red dot's gonna be nice and dim. It's not gonna blind you. If you're out in the desert, if you're outside shooting in bright sunlight, this red dot will be a very bright red dot. Again, three MOA dot on this guy. One nice thing is the adjustment for your elevation and windage to actually calibrate this thing will not be interfered with a rear sight. So you don't have any adjustments out back. So I have the Vortex Viper and your adjustments and release screws, I guess, are gonna be out back and um, that means I had to take the actual red dot off, adjust it, and then put it back on the firearm and then hope I did it right. You don't have to do that with this. Your adjustments are gonna be right here. So as to be expected, in order to change the battery, which is a standard CR2032 battery, you're gonna have to remove the red dot from the gun to swap the battery. The good thing is this red dot fits perfectly on site, inside the cuts, the optic cut on this handgun. I mean, you almost feel like you can fire this gun and you don't even need screws. Obviously that's a lot, you will need screws, but it fits so perfectly, it pretty much snaps in um, just because of the cut, the precision of the cut, and then the little post in there as well. So the Rhydon MPRD2 has a three MOA red dot and the click value for your adjustment is gonna be one MOA. Now this dot is also night vision compatible. Per the user manual, if when you do mount this or change the battery, whichever, they do say you should torque these screws down to 12 pounds. For the sake of this review, I did keep the box. I wanna show you the packaging that it comes in. I love the little Rhydon topographic pattern on the front. And again, this is the box that the red dot came in. When you get the red dot, it comes with your warranty card. It comes with a little Allen wrench for adjustments and installation. It comes with a couple screws and the optic. That's it. Oh, and a battery too. So I have the P365 XL and I was kind of having an issue with that. Um, I could not find some freaking screws to fit that P365. The optics plate on the P365 actually mounts to a different set of threads um, as the red dot would. The red dot 
sits on top of the handgun and then you put the screws through the top and those thread in. The optics plate on the 365 uh, with the rear sight is actually mounted from below within the slide to a whole different set of threaded screws. So uh, it turns out for a while, um, since I could not locate any screws, I found out the screws inside my son's computer that mount the hard drive actually work. So I fired like probably 400 rounds through my 365 for testing with hard drive screws and it worked just fine. So kind of cool. Um, if you're in a pinch, be resourceful, right? If I had to guess, I've been carrying the red dot around for about a month and a half. It's been sitting on my 365 XL and has probably seen about 600 rounds through it. So pretty good. Other than that, it's been holding up it's been dropped. Um, there's little tiny dings on it, but the glass is holding up. Rydon has an incredible warranty as well. I'll see if I can find a link to buy these. I know it's kind of wishy-washy. They're not really quite out in stores yet, but some stores are starting to pick up the MPRD2s. Don't confuse the MPRD2 with the MPRD1. Totally different, um, totally different red dots. Um, the MPRD2 is way more advanced than the MPRD1. And also right on has the PRD, it's not the micro red dot, but rather the full pistol red dot. Um, they have the PRD too as well. So I wanna kind of look into getting one of those. Overall, I'm very impressed. It has a good look to it. Um, it's all aluminum construction. It's not plastic or anything like that. That's all I got for you guys. So far, so good. Thank you all so much. I'll see you.